like a little manning! Oh my gosh, he's like a little small manning! <laughs> to a new video. I hope you had a really good Easter. Hope you enjoyed your little bit of time off school or work and you just had a lot of fun and ate a lot of chocolate if that's what you wanted to do. So we are back in Brindleton Bay today. I always feel like I record cats and dogs at the beginning of the week. I don't know why it works out that way but it's kind of a really nice way to start the week. Like it's just a nice happy chilled series and what is exciting about this episode is we have a weird little baby that needs to be aged up very very soon in this episode so I'm super excited for that. That is of course Hunter Fisher. I know, it's kind of a weird word. But I am excited to age up in this episode and also start to build a little sanctuary outside the house for all the stray cats and dogs too. So if you guys are excited for this episode, give it that little cheeky thumbs up and let's get straight into it and play some cats and dogs. Now, I don't think anybody is at home. They're actually all at the dream house because I think they were there for Luna and Ryder's birthday. So we'll go collect them and bring them home. Although if they were all at the dream house for the birthday, who is at home with Hunter Fisher, you guys? That makes no sense at all. So all he was at daycare. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So what we, uh, what I've done is I've changed it so that the aging, oh look at you cutie pies, the aging won't take place if I'm not at the house anymore. So that's the one thing I've changed about the aging on this game. So unless it's like a household I don't look after, they should still age on their own, but the rest of the households shouldn't. And I can literally see that I think this little one here, Shep, are you just smelly Shep? Or do you actually have some kind of an illness? I can't really tell, but surely I can treat him because I'm Kira and I'm literally a pro vet. Also, he's been eating poop. Please, can we let you about that? Because that is actually disgusting. And it's what I am, little Carrie Fisher. Please get the butts into the beds. Okay, Shep has learned not to eat poop and then he's just gone straight back to sleep again. Um, I'm kind of feeling like he's gonna have to save his bath for the morning. Let's get everybody into the bed. And here he is, guys. Our white baby that makes literally no sense at all. But there is Hunter Fisher. Basically, if you install MCC Command Sensor, which obviously is something I have, it makes our game a lot more realistic and crazy, which I kind of like. Um, it does, unfortunately... Oh, look, whoever Dax is, he is dead. Okay. It does, unfortunately, make all the babies be born with white skin. I know, not very, yeah, you're not very PC, but still, that is just the way it's going. Shep, can you go to bed, my love, please? I know your bed is now in the forgotten room, but you need to go to bed, okay? Shep's like, ah, okay, there we go. Both the animals sleeping in here. And obviously, once the animals get to go to bed, the baby wakes up. Kira, you're currently able to work from home, so you are going to be the one that goes a little bit of looking after of this little smelly, smelly baby. But once he ages up into a toddler like Carrie, he should, should get the correct skin tone that you'd expect of a child of Kira and Anthony's heritage. Kira, you're gonna have to wash this little, little purpuru when we get home as well. Can I also point out, look at the household funds. They are actually zero right now, so I'm gonna have to go into the business and just take a little bit out, just so that, you know, we can actually afford to eat and whatnot. Just take out 500 pounds back into our name, please. And please tell me, Anthony, you're at work. Yes, he is at work in six hours, which is actually great news, because it means at least we're gonna get a little bit of money. This one just woke up with a star. It's kind of... I mean, you're wide awake, so you may... Wait, I was gonna say you may as well do your homework. Oh, look. Her homework is not in her inventory. How typical. And the sink is broken, and Charlie Rose isn't even here to fix it anymore, you guys. Which ain't great. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy homework when I have no money. Thanks, children. Thanks for always, always... Oh, it's only a pound, but still. Thanks for always, always deciding just not to look after your homeworks. That show makes my life really easy. Oh, and we've got 24 hours to pay until the bills are shut off. The, to pay the bills until the power is shut off. I wish the bills were shut off. So, you know... Oh, and her homework is actually right there. Oh, my gosh. It's not been the easiest start to the episode, has it? Okay. Why don't you go and breeze through that homework? Whoa. And then I'm spying a school project in your inventory, so maybe after that you could start working carefully on that. And maybe Anthony Roo can help you out. Anthony, would you mind going ahead and giving that sink repair job a little go? And Kira, would you get mind giving Lishep Lebath? Is the baby asleep? He's not! But he's not- <laughs> What is going on with this baby? However, 
Brown eyes, I'm noticing. I'm thinking Hunter is gonna have brown eyes. Although sometimes it changes from when they're a baby, so you never know. Obviously, Kira has green eyes. Anthony has brown eyes. Carrie, actually, if I can see her face and show you guys, she is hetero, hetero something or other, which means she has. Oh, hello, Carrie. She she has one of each. This this is not really working out for me, is it? Where where am I going? I'm lost, lost. Carrie, show them your eyes. Carrie, there you go. Look, look, look. One brown. And one green. You saw it. You saw it very quickly there, didn't you? Okay, Antonaru, why don't you assist Lil Carrie with this project before you head in to work? Beautiful bit of father and daughter Beautiful. bonding. And we know that Carrie is a total, total little daddy's girl. So I think she'll be loving this one-on-one -on -one time with him. And it means that this little one here can make a little breakfast tofu scramble for everybody. And I'm not really going to be able to start work on the animal shelter. Anthony, why is your guitar there? I'm not going to be able to start that much work on the animal shelter until I get a little bit more money, you guys, I'm afraid. I would love to do it, but I do need a little bit more money. How long until the, ba the baby ages up? There's no way for me to tell. It's too young to even, like, be able to use MC Command Center on. Look, I can't even do it in there. So I have no idea how long the baby's got left till it grows up, so... It's usually about three days, so I think not tomorrow, but maybe the day after. We will have ourselves a little Hunter Fisher, and I get to put skin details and clothes and hair and everything on him. I'm really excited about that. And guys, look at this. I know it needs a lot more decorating, but we have our badass awesome kitchen. Which is pretty rad, you guys. Oh, and look at this. Hunter's also afraid of the cooker. For a police dog, Hunter. Not Hunter. Oh, my gosh. Shep. For a police dog, Shep. You sure are scared of everything. As long as you're not scared of bad guys, we should be okay. Oh, look at this. Good doggo doing his business outside. That is what I like to see. And look at this. The whole family lamb's helping out with the project. I kind of wanted to get it done and finish so she can have our little brekkie over there before she goes into school. Uh, Shep, are you on the counters? Are you trying to... Are you trying to get to the... Shep, I see you. I see you, naughty, naughty girl trying to get to the food over there. Anthony, discipline your dog. Lecture about jumping on counters. You have work in two hours, which I think means you have enough time to go for a quick little jog as well with Le Shep. <gasps> and Carrie finished her project for some extra credit. Make sure you bring it into school and show them, okay? There you go. And then can you come over here and get some brekkie before you head into school? I can encourage her uh, completing school projects behavior as well. Because I may as well try and uh, level up some of Carrie's like um, character values and stuff too. Basically, the more of them I can get to a really good character value place, the better. Look at this, teaching her to say please and thank you before school. Which she is now running a bit late for, so, you know, the sooner you can eat up that little tofu scramble, the better, my little gem. With your Adidas pajamas. Adidas. I say Adidas. But a lot of people say Adidas. And if Adidas is a little bit of a northern thing. And look at this, little police dog workout before he has to head in and do his policing. How are you doing, by the way? You're doing good. But you've done your promotion task, which to me says you just need to work that, let's let's face it, very cute little butt. Work that little cute butt at work today so you can get that promotion, okay, Antonarino? Carrie is headed into school. Why don't you make some friends at school? Because you don't have a cute little, cha not Charlie Rose, Noelle. A cute little Noelle to hang out with anymore. And look at this, you guys. Carrie showing why she is the cat lover <laughs> and Mojo showing why he is the attention lover. Sure. Cuteness happening in front of your eyes right now. <laughs> and I think as well, once um, Hunter ages up and we can <laughs> do a little bit of work on his appearance, I think we will make it so that, oh, look at this, send alone. We'll make it so that Kari, um, Kira, sorry, Kira's hair has grown out a little bit. I think having short hair while you're a mum is a smart idea. Very low maintenance, very easy. And then Ew, we'll let her hair grow out a little bit as he becomes Oops. a toddler. Oh, just because Lord that's him. kind of what we said we were going to do. And I'm looking forward to a new oh, style on her as well. There we go. Anthony is in work too. Please make sure you are working hard, Anthony. And then Kira, you're kind of staying at home to look after the baby. So you're going to have to do a little bit of work around the house, you know. Make sure everything is in order. Little baby Hunter is doing a cute little sleep for himself there. We've got a little bit of work to do around here. It's a little bit, a little bit smelly in the house. Things need to be put away and whatnot. I may also, I, I don't want to send her to the vets. Oh my gosh, she needs to pay the bills. Because um, she needs to stay at home for the baby. 
But I will go ahead and get her to work on a little bit of freelance work just for some extra money, you guys. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. The baby is awake. The baby is awake. How long till it starts boohooing? He's okay now. He's just toodling around, but the boohoos will start very soon, I'm sure. There they are. There are those boohoos. You're gonna have to come upstairs, Kira. Do a little bit of breastfeeding, a little bit of rocking, a little bit of silly facing. Jesse Jet is wondering if I want to come over. Jesse, why don't you come over here instead? Look at this. Kari has met Letitia in school. Letitia looks like an absolutely awesome chick. We might have to invite her around. I will get Jess Aru to hang out with me as well. I think, like, if you were just having a new baby as well, your mums would be around quite a lot to help out, wouldn't they? Oh, <gasps> and is the cat scratching? No, Mojo! Quick, lecture him about scratching. Oh, yay, Jessie is here. <gasps> and she's sad. Can we discuss her sad mood, please? What is making Jessie Bob so down? <laughs> is it the fact that she is going to become an elder very, very soon? Oh, look at this, you guys. Little Shep just staying in the room looking after little baby Hunter. I feel like these two are going to have a really nice little relationship, potentially. Mojo, you are also doing really good guards. Don't think I don't see you. You are guarding. Okay, you were guard. Oh, little Jessie Bob's taking the trash out. Helping out the poor new mum who really needs a wee. And then we've got a little bit of lunch for her as well. I think it's lovely having, like, your mum around when you've got a little wee baby. And little Jessaroo. They've got such a nice relationship. And look at this. We're building a really good relationship up with little Hunter Rooney as well. <gasps> and Jessie's even putting the dishwasher on now. What an absolute love. <gasps> and little Carrie's home as well. Carrie, we've got some little faux BLT sandwiches if you want to come in and grab one. And say hello to your grandma. Oh, she's tense from school. Oh, she's stressed around people that aren't like the people she's being clingy with. Because if you remember, Carrie is in a clingy phase. But still, she's bragging about her grades and talking about how she's doing really well in school. And saying, Grandma, I'm a little brain box. Look at me with my different color eyes. How freaking cute am I? Can we just talk about how cute I am? Jess is like, okay, strange child. By the way, how weird looking was Jesse in the, the OG Dreamhouse remake. Like, she looked so weird. I'm so glad our Jesse actually looks like this because real Jesse is an absolute bombshell. She is beautiful. And I would not have liked her that other way as much. But I'm glad you guys liked that video and it was really, really cool getting to remake me and Ali. However, I'm glad I'm glad we had the house that we did. I'm glad about the OG house. Oh, and what is Shep freaking out about now? The, this Paparu is like literally scared of everything. Oh, Jesse's heading off home now. She's hung out today and helped us look after little Hunter Rooney. And look after the house and stuff. I wanted to put the school project up on the counter, but I can't. Is there anywhere we can put this and display how much of a smarty pie little Carrie is? Can I not put it like on top of the bookshelf? Might just have to put it in her room like that. That's fine. Showing off her little smarty pie-ness. Although, can I put it up on here? Damn it. <laughs> that would have looked really cool. How's the baby? Oh, he's awake. Oh, can you do anything? Oh, you can talk to him and coo at him. I think it would be good to get make sure that Carrie's chit-chatting away with him as well so that once he ages up, they already have, like, a good relationship. Although right now, I think she needs a little bit of homework help. And Anthony, please tell me, oh, he's not going to get a promotion. I've got him, like, working hard, but it's not quite enough for you guys. And he's not going to get a promotion before the end of today, which sucks because I don't think we're going to be able to pay our bills. I think the power might be about to get shut off. Which isn't great, and I probably should have asked for a loan from Jessie Bobs while she was here. <gasps> so Anthony got home without a promotion, you guys. Do you have work again tomorrow? You do? I don't get it. I feel like his, his work performance actually almost dropped. And we can't pay the bills. That all kind of sucks. Anthony, you've got food on there. Go grab yourself a little bit to eat, okay? And Carrie, why don't you go say hello to your dad? Ch little, do a little chit-chat about school. Tell him an unbelievable story. A little inside joke and whatnot. There you go, having a cute little chit chat. I basically want everyone to have like wonderful, amazing relationships with each other. Oh wow, I just checked in on her character values, little carries. Her responsibility is really good. Her emotional control isn't great, but she's actually not doing too badly. I'm gonna get her to go ahead and just clean up the house as well for a little bit, a little bit more of a boost to everything. These are like her little chores. That's okay, so that helps with her manners. The emotional control one is quite hard to do because you almost have to redirect bad behavior. Oh, the baby's crying. Anthony, you're going to have to go and look after her. I know you want to play dolls, but you're going to have to go and look after little Hunter because Kira is out on a walk with, uh, with Shep. Oh, 
No! Guys, the computer is broken! Ah! Uh, that means we can't get money from freelancing work anymore! Well, that's literally the worst thing that could have happened for our financial situation, isn't it? Oh, and the baby's awake as well and hungry. Kira, I know you were just about to go to bed. And it's 2 a.m. in the morning and you're actually sick, but you're gonna have to look after baby first. Oh, guys, babies sure are tough. Oh, and everybody's getting a bit sick as well. Kira's got the- Kira's got the twirly whirlies. Look at them. Twirly whirly in around her. You can go to sleep after you've fed the baby because Anthony needs to get up and work tomorrow. I'm sorry, but that's the fair way to do things. Plus, you know, Anthony can't can't really do this business, I wouldn't say. He could give it a go, but I don't know how much success he'd have. Oh my gosh, and Anthony's working up needing a wee. You guys are so right. Once we get enough money, um, we definitely, definitely... I'm gonna get him to get a shower at the same time. We definitely need to get an upstairs bathroom. Like, corner, like, some of this bit off into, a, uh, like, an ensuite for their room. Because it's really annoying having to go downstairs all the time. It's not the hugest house, but I, ca I mean, it's pretty big downstairs. But I kind of like having ha not every house being ridiculously big. Because the dream house is huge. The suburbs house is huge. The inner city apartment is huge. And we have no power. Great. But I kind of like Sims a little bit more when you're first getting things built up and like... I like the struggle, you know? I'm all about the struggle. Oh, and speaking of struggling, the baby's up again. <laughs> so everybody's gone to work now, or school. I'm gonna make sure Anthony's working hard. I'm, le I'm leaving little Carrie to work normal because she's already on an A. I don't want to stress her out. She even did extra credit work on her own last night. And poor little Kira is just left in the dark all day because there's no power in the house. I really want her to give it a go at repairing this, but I just know it's not a good idea because you can get electrified. So we're going to have to get to someone to come out and repair the computer, or else we can't make any money from doing our programming during the day, so that kind of sucks. I also love how in this game it's like your repairman will be there at 10.50am. If you've ever called a repairman or a plumber or an electrician, they're like, I'll be there between 8am and 10pm, so just, you know, wait around for me. And then they'll knock on the door like this, like, and if you don't hear it, that's it. You've got to wait another day. That is how it works in the real world, you guys. And I can hear Hunter Fisher yet again. Oh my gosh, she never stops, does he? <gasps> Power's been shut off, so we can't even do programming. Oh my gosh, you guys, this really sad. If... Oh no, the baby's crying again. Oh no, it needs its diaper changing. She was literally just about to have breakfast as well. Oh man, I feel sorry for Kira. <laughs> She is having a stressful day so far. I might have to get her to like scavenge around the neighborhood for things to sell. That is how desperate things have gotten. And Jessie's wondering if I want to come over. I can't. I've got a hunter. You can come around here and help out, but... Oh, we can ask her for a loan. Oh my gosh. Yes, let's do that. Jessie, if you want to come around, please be my guest because we're near your money. <gasps> and look at all these strays here waiting. Waiting for the sanctuary to be set up. Guys, it will be set up. Look at this broken fence. It will be set up. We just don't have the money yet. I'm sorry. Oh, and she's coming around and doing a little bit of cleaning for us, which is just great. Harry's had a really boring day of school. Why don't you play with your grandma for a bit, okay? And I'm trying to find the option to ask for a loan. Oh, I can't because I still have a loan that Jesse gave me. So all I can do is offer to repay a loan instead. Obviously ain't ideal. Jessie, can you not repair that for us? You're really good at repairing things. Come on. Oh, man. It looks like we're just going to be sat in the dark. Literally until Anthony gets home and puts the power back on. But at least now that Jessie Bobs is here, Kira can get a little bit of shut eye because Jessie's around to keep an eye on things. <gasps> and now this is broken too. Guys, today is a struggle. Today is a struggle. <gasps> Anthony is home. He's not promoted. However, we can at least just go ahead and get a little bit of power back in the house. Pay those bills, Anthony. Ah, there we go. We have some lights. We actually have some lights. And Anthony, do you want to come in and check in on little Hunter so that Carrie can sleep for a little bit longer? Carrie. Kira. Oh my gosh, too many similar names because it's been a bit of a rough day for poor Kira Boo. And you might have to give this shower a little crack as well if you don't mind. <gasps> And Charlie Rose is calling. She was literally just about to go have a nap. But you've got to see Charlie. You've got to hear from Charlie. 
You've got to speak to her. It's been a while and you miss her. And she is your best friend. There she goes, having a little chit chat with Charlie. <gasps> and Hunter just became good friends with Anthony. Okay, things are going okay, you guys. Oh, gosh. I feel so sorry for the mum and dad. Like, all they just are, like, tired or hungry or low on fun all the time. Poor Anthony is coming from work and just had to look after baby and repair stuff in the house. And now he's off straight to bed. Okay, guys. Non-stop for this poor little family. Anthony, you have work. I'm sorry. You actually even work on a Saturday. How mean is that? Poor little Anthony Ruba. I'm going to have to send him into work. Hopefully, he gets his promotion today. But either way, Hunter is aging up tonight because... This, the, the whole life for this family is just such a struggle at the moment that they kind of just need it, you know? Oh, gosh. Kira's finally getting a little bit of shut eye and I can't keep the baby quiet. He just keeps crying no matter what I do. I think that is a pretty clear sign that he wants to age up into a toddler. So, Kira, I don't... Oh, bless her. She's like, put all the pillows over her ears so she can't hear him. She is literally so tired right now but i think it is time to age up this wee little baby anthony i think you're gonna have to do the honors my love the animals have come in to watch it as well which is always nice so let's go ahead and age up little hunter fisher now whenever you age them up it likes to just put a whole mishmash of cc on them so hopefully we're gonna be able to switch him into a little bit of a nicer kind of cc but we need to at least give him a trait. Now, I think we gave uh, little Kari the wild one. She ran around like a little crazy person. And I don't really know what to give little Hunter. I'm kind of tempted to have him as the opposite. Like, Kari's very independent and crazy and runs around all by herself. I'm kind of tempted to make Hunter like a little bit of the opposite. He's a little bit more shy. He wants to kind of be a bit more cuddly with his parents. But we kind of encourage him to come out of his shell and become his own person. So I think I'm going to make him a little clingy Rooney. And now let's see what he looks like. Okay, he's at least got the right skin tone, you guys. And he's got a little fox outfit, which is so cute. Look at you, you little foxy. And he's got his little brown eyes. Okay, let's go ahead. And do a little tweak of his appearance. <gasps> what is going on in this room? Uh, excuse me. Can we go ahead and stop this behavior? Because I hate this. Firmly express disappointment for that mess. On her little ladybug rug as well. And here you are, little cutie pie. What do you make of that? That's a dog. Okay, guys. So here is our little Hunter Fisher. Little cutie pie. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is give him, like, the nice eyes that we actually like. He's got brown eyes. So I think we give him, like, I like these really clear, pretty kind of eyes. I'm going to go for this color because I think that one's the most realistic color. And then let's get his little clothes off, which kind of sounds weird. But I want to see... It's, oh, wow, it's giving him, like, long hair. <gasps> That's actually so cute. I kind of, I always get tempted to tweak their eyebrows a little bit. Just because I think, stop moving. Stop moving so much. Stay still. Stop moving. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there you go. I just think those eyebrows are a little bit more realistic. And then I do really like the hair it's given him. I, but I was kind of really wanting to put this hair on him. Just because I think it's adorable. Or I can like braid his hair backwards as well. Or give him like... Oh, with a little, a little curl going down the side of his face. Or like a few of them in a little bun at the back as well. <gasps> you guys are going to have to let me know which one. I quite like this. But I feel like because he's so young at the moment that it's probably better just to let his hair go a little bit free. So I'm going to leave his hair like that for now. And then is it giving him skin details? Because I kind of get the vibe it hasn't. No, it hasn't. So I can give him like toddler skin. Obviously not that color. Oh, I quite like that skin on him though because that's a bit more like Anthony's kind of skin. That's really cute. Need some little eyelashes as well, little kiddo. No, I quite like this one on him because it keeps his eyelid, his upper eyelids. Okay, he's looking so cute that I actually kind of want to do a little cry. Not going to lie to you guys. <gasps> I can show his little teethies as well. Oh, he's so baby. He is literally so baby. He probably needs a little dody though, doesn't he? This is where I spend 10 years looking at every different dody combination before I pick the right one. I like this color though. It's got a little turtle on it. Love that. Oh, I can put a teeny tiny little hat on him. It's a bit silly though, isn't it? Just a tad silly. Oh, these ones keep his little hair underneath. How cute is that? Okay, though, but let's have a look at the different little outfits we can give him. 
Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I actually love him so much already. Oh, I give him a little jacket. Oh, a little shirt. Oh. Oh my gosh, please, please tell me you guys agree that that is so cute. <gasps> he's like a little manning! Oh my gosh, he's like a little short manning! Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <gasps> and give him little ripped jeans. <laughs> he's so trendy. It actually is actually physically painful how trendy he is. <gasps> you guys, look at him. He's trendy! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Hunter, you little trendy bun bun, you. <gasps> so cute. Okay, I know the outfit's kind of grown up, but I think when you combine it with the dodi, it brings it back down to a more reasonable age. And please, for the love of God, can I put a suit on him? Because he needs a suit right now. Look at this trendiness. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he looks like a little page boy. Oh, you just missed out on the wedding as well, you little bean. Okay, you're wearing that for bed just because it's so cute that there's no other option. And your little party look for all those parties you're going to be going to. Oh, baby boy is so cute. That's his little party outfit. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me know what you think of him. This look is actually physically hurting me. It's so cute. How can it be that cute? Look at him! Can you not already tell he's gonna be a little stunner one day? A little baby cutie pie. Look how cute he is. He looks so much like Carrie. And look at her, she ended up looking so cool. Kind of badass looking, but very cool. Whereas he's got a little bit more of an innocence look about... Ah! So cute! Look at you! I wanna just... Spread you on bread and eat you. You're so cute. Look at him. Look at him. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of him. I actually, my heart is breaking. My heart is physically breaking looking at him right now. And then you, my love, I said I would give you a different hairstyle. So here we go. I'm gonna slightly grow out your hair a little bit. It's still gonna be short, but it's gonna be like it's just grown out. So like that could be an option. That's very pretty. There are some slightly like more bob styles I want to try on you, but I don't think a hair would be that lengthy. It needs to be something more this kind of a length or that kind of a length. Could be like a bit more punky or just sort of grown out. Again, just kind of a grown out look. That's really nice, but I don't know if it would be that long yet. I love this one on her, but again, it's just a little bit too long. I want to look like it's slowly grown out over time. Because when you get your hair cut that short, it takes a little while to get back to like the length you had it before. Uh, I think I'm going to go for, where was it? I think I'm going to go for this one just for now. Like it's grown out a little bit, but it's still really short. And we will eventually get to a longer style. Don't worry, you guys. But this is just where we are for now. So there we go, you guys. A slightly longer hairstyle length for little cutesy Kira and of course the cutest little baby in the whole freaking world like he's killing me he's killing me he's actually killing me he's so damn cute hopefully you guys like both of those if you do let me know in the comments below so guys there he is in the wild playing with his little dolls gorgeous amazing little hunter Playing dolls with Anthony who doesn't look that impressed. In fact, he is kind of wrecking his doll. But, oh, I was going to say at least he's bonding with his son. Now his son has been left all on his own. Carrie, can you come and join your brother and play a little bit of dolls? Now, the money situation is kind of tight at the moment. So I think in the next episode, I'm going to have to join Anthony at work and do a really, really good job. Just so that we can make sure he gets his little promotion. And then once that is done, I am going to get... A little hunter his own room i think he will take this one we'll move carrie into the bigger room and do that up for her a little bit and then we will change where hunter's bed currently is in the main bedroom to an ensuite for little kira and anthony but hopefully you guys like this episode and hopefully you like this small angel that seems to be living in our home with us he is so cute i i actually want to like um it's it's taken a lot though, to make me cry because he is adorable. How do we keep having cuter babies every single time? Hopefully you like the way he looks. Please leave your comments and feedback in the comments below. Obviously, where else would you leave them? And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another episode. Bye.